and welcome to Candid, where we never settle for less than the truth. I'm your host, Jonathan Youssef. Each week, we'll tackle tough issues, answer your hard questions, and take a candid look at the Christian faith. If you've been enjoying the podcast, would you take a minute and log onto your favorite podcast platform, rate us, and leave us a review? It would be a tremendous help, and it does allow others to find us easily. Many people seem to think that their prayers don't matter. Even people who believe in the power of prayer don't always consider their prayers to be effective. What is the key to effective prayer? The Bible tells us in James chapter 5 that the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. A righteous person has a personal relationship with Jesus and is in right standing with God. A righteous person seeks to obey God, yield to the direction of the Holy Spirit, and see God's will established on this earth. We see the effectiveness of prayer by a righteous person in the Old Testament prophet Daniel. His prayers provide a model for us to follow. Read his powerful plea to God in Daniel chapter 9 verses 4 through 19 and observe the key components of his prayer. Daniel began his prayer by praising God, focusing on the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant of love with all who love him and obey his commands. Start your prayers with praise and thanksgiving to God. Praise him for his glory, power, his love. Thank him for his daily provision in your life, your salvation, and his many blessings. Spend time just adoring God. Then Daniel confessed that Israel had sinned. He didn't try to dismiss, justify, or sidestep the fact that Israel had made a grave error. He didn't make excuses to God, but took responsibility, saying, We have sinned and done wrong. We have been wicked and have rebelled. We have turned away from your commands and laws. When you go to God in prayer, acknowledge your sins before him. And Daniel appealed to God's mercy, saying, O Lord, in keeping with all your righteous acts, turn away your anger and your wrath from Jerusalem. For your sake, O Lord, look with favor on our desolate sanctuary. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Acknowledge to God that you do not deserve his blessings, but you receive them because he is a merciful and loving God. Humble yourself before God, realizing that personal transformation and corporate revival can only come by his grace. Daniel very specifically asked the Lord to take action. O Lord, listen. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, hear and act for your sake. O my God, do not delay because your city and your people bear your name. Like Daniel, we are to pray that God will act in a way that brings God the greatest glory and in a way that is the most profound witness that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Like Daniel, we are to pray boldly and full of faith, without which it is impossible to please God. These are the prayers that God uses to move mountains. How can you be assured that you are praying for God's will and not your own to be done? Immerse yourself in the Word of God. As you pray for specific requests, always check them against Scripture. You can be sure God's desire for you will never go against His Word. As you read God's Word and study it, ask the Lord to give you a greater awareness of specific promises that He wants you to pray about and believe for. We must pray with praise on our lips, a confession of our sin, and with a petition that God will act in a way that accomplishes His purposes and brings Him glory. And we must listen very closely to what God may lead us to say or do. God uses individual people to accomplish his purposes. Be willing to be used. As you pray, never lose sight of this truth. Let us not become weary in doing good, or at the proper time we will reap a harvest 
if we do not give up. Galatians 6, 9. Continue to pray and act as God leads, knowing that at God's appointed time, the harvest will come. Candid is a podcast from Leading the Way with Dr. Michael Youssef. Don't forget to connect on our social media pages, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And subscribe to Candid Conversations on your favorite podcast platform. Thank you for listening to and sharing our episode.